Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings. It's been a little while since since our last play session here. We do have a few things to do. Let's just refamiliarize ourselves with our situation here. We are currently 46 years old. Our wife is also 46. So any more children is unlikely. We are plotting to kill the Tanist, which is a Snedgus. We can probably go ahead and abandon that plot because I came up with a new plan to get Harley the 17th, this amazing guy, back in power. Look at those stats. And by back in power, I mean in power at all. We also have a lot of titles we can create, and we have the wrong types of holdings in our domain, all the way through Wales over here, because we have not adopted feudalism, which is going to be pretty much the first goal that we have in this episode here. We are going to go ahead and save up for a Stone Hill Fort 4 so that we can get that going as soon as we can. And then we will likely... Hmm, well, that is exciting. This is the event where we can debase the mints with less precious metals for profits. Let's go ahead and do that. That gives us the gold we need immediately. That was very convenient. Good move this right on down here. There we go. Upgrade our hill fort there. Now before we actually go to feudalism, we're going to want to spend down our prestige on these buildings as much as possible. So let's go ahead and take a look through here. We could get this war camp. That'll up upgrade to a barracks one and a city guard one. This will go to a castle, so it'll be a barracks one. This would upgrade potentially to a barracks two but we don't necessarily know that. Alternately, we could go ahead and get a Militia Training Ground one when we upgrade there. However, I think our best bet would probably be to go ahead and get a Barracks one. So we'll go ahead and do that. So there's our Prestige relatively spent down, as well as our money. Now we could do one last Tributary War, perhaps on Northumbria or Wessex. Wessex would be a good option here. They do hold Gloucester. Let's take a look at the de Jure kingdoms here. That is that is part of England. I actually want Hereford to successfully secede from Mercia. I doubt that'll actually happen, but we can dream. Let's go ahead and do a tributary war on, on Wessex here. We can extort the tribute on them. And so we shall call in our various allies here and our vassals. We have a good amount of personal troops nowadays. We don't have anything coming in from these holdings over here, but that is fine. So we'll go ahead and come down here. This High Chief, High Chief of Ulaid, has declared a claim on Rins, so he's going to go ahead and go fight these guys. That's fine, he can do that. And this guy just wants to give up. Okay, that's fine. He can give up. Actually, I, I do believe I just told him that we're not giving up. <laughs> so that happened. We're going to go fight him anyway, I guess. Well, hopefully this happens, and then we would have a nice hold on the th this crossing here. The only thing we would then need is Ebathon to hold all of these crossings. That would be excellent. Merge these guys together, and let's go invade Wessex. Realistically, we can probably move our Chancellor, since we have enough in Wales to create the kingdom title. We'll go ahead and start fabricating a claim on Ebathan up there. Hopefully he'll get us one. Let's see here, they have a 54k stack. That's really non-threatening. We're not going to even bother chasing those guys down. If that's all they have, we might as well just siege. Split this again. 492 men is going to be a little bit low, I think, for sieging Somerset. We'll just go ahead and bring in another 536. There we go. He does have a relatively large force there, but our tributaries are dealing with it. And they're gone. GG. Did they wipe that? They did not. 425, but they're attacking Mercia. That's fine. They can do that. 
the Pope is dead. Long live the Pope. And all of our vassals came in. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We are at 80% war score here. This will tick over once a couple of these sieges happen. It's 96 right there, so once this siege happens, we can go ahead and send these guys home. Go smack this little stack here before they do anything untoward. There we go. Go ahead and put these guys down. The war is over. We are at 100% war score. So let's go ahead and pull them back. Offer peace. There we go. And Wessex is now our tributary. Excellent. Once these guys get into our territory, we'll disband. There we go. Good enough. Now, a child lacks a childhood focus. Ulagarg. Okay. Well, Ulagarg, let's let's give you struggle since you're already good at martial. You already have haughty. Many years of my life have been spent dedicated to the Benedictine Order, performing missions, which we haven't done any of, and tasks in the interests of the Order and its Conversus. Today, all that effort has been rewarded, as I have become the new Conversus. My fellows now look to me for leadership and, and guidance. And leadership and guidance I shall provide. So we are now the leader of the Benedictine Order. So... Our previous life was the worst Dominican, but I guess we are the best Benedictine. We didn't even try for that. We've done nothing. We have a mission to pick the theology focus. Wouldn't be the worst idea. We don't really need that much money for anything anymore. can go ahead and pick that. There we go. We're happy with ourselves. We are happy to hear that you have devoted your time to matters of theology. May the coming years of devoted study bless you with new insights. Go with God. Signed, us. We even sent a letter to ourselves. The Bible shall be our foremost companion. A hundred devotion. We don't really need devotion anymore since we're already the leader. We will remain the leader until we die. This guy is our expected heir of the, uh, of the Benedictine order. And they're trying to kill people. Well, they can have fun with that. Let's see about creating some titles. The Kingdom of Wales is 275.6. That's probably going to be the best thing for us to create next. My wish to become a better Catholic has led me to the rule of St. Benedict. Once I used lies and deceit to get out of trouble and fulfill my desires. Following the path of St. Benedict has taught me better. Praised be God. We lose deceitful. Okay. I guess we're a better Benedictine than we were before. After years of careful planning, this guy, from the court of this guy, has raised a large army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls, declaring his intention to press his claim by force. Well, good luck with that. What claim are you pressing, sir? He is currently attacking Mercia. He's claiming Mercia. Well, okay. Good luck with that. We have no particular interest in Mercia. What we do have an interest in is this finishing up, which will be in 22 October, just about a month. Snedgus is trying to kill us, and we should invest in a technological advance. We actually have a lot of cultural tech. That's interesting. Okay, um, well, interestingly, our plan to get Harley the 17th in power involves a couple of steps. So let's go ahead and go over that real quick. First, we finish building this stone hill fort, which will be done in five days at this point. Then we go into our intrigue. In fact, let's go ahead and just play this out and do it live. The stone hill fort has been built. There we go. So we now have a stone hill fort here. That is the top level for a tribe. However, Theoretically, we now should be able to adopt feudalism, which we can do, and so we shall. Government is changed to feudal. So we are now a feudal government. We have 15 out of 10, or 15 out of 8 domain size. We lost, we lost our tribal status, so we lost two there. 
Now, can we switch over our law to increased centralization? We cannot, because legalism is not greater than or equal to 3. However, we do have the, the tech points to get legalism up to level 3, which would be nice. However, there is something that is actually more important to have legalism at level 3 for, and that is in our inheritance, we are now able to select ultimogeniture, except that we do not have late feudal administration. Now, to go to late feudal administration, we also need legalism level to, th to 3. So we will go ahead and take our legalism up to 3, and we will now go to late feudal administration. However, everyone doesn't like this on our council, so we're going to have to bribe some people here. Let's take a look here. We have six members of our council, so we will need to bribe three of them. And none of these guys are particularly good targets. I this guy's okay, Chief of Osrage. This guy's just the Spy Master, definitely not Harley. He's probably going to be pretty cheap. Yeah, 15 gold. Well, that's for opinion increase, in fact. What we need to do is we need to buy a favor. But that's 200 gold. How about from this guy? That's 80 gold. That's a relatively cheap favor. How about this guy? That's 80 gold. We can afford that. And we are a little bit low on funds. However, we could owe this guy a favor. Hmm. He wants 200 gold. This guy's only 68 gold. He'll accept it. We may go a little bit into debt here. We got some city holdings finished constructing here. We'll need to handle that. We can't hold cities personally because we are feudal lords and we need a mayor for that. So we'll go ahead and create a new vassal for each of these new cities that were built. Like so. There we go. That brings us down to 10 out of 8. It says 10 there, but it just hasn't updated yet. We'll need to get rid of a couple more of our holdings. The best way to do that will probably be to get rid of some of our Welsh holdings. But for now, let's go ahead and tick forward until we have an idle council member. Ah, yes, because we switched over to feudalism. We can now have these guys researching tech, which is probably going to be the best option. This guy is proselytizing. Where is he proselytizing? Ah, yes, that is correct. These these are still Waldenesian. Okay, we still want him to do that, then. Our domain size is slightly too big. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Everyone is still opposed to that. He will accept our gift. He refused our gift, probably because we don't have the money. So, these two are are now owing us a favor. Let's take a look here. This guy is a zealot. Does he have anything in particular that he wants us to do? Our domain is too big. Yeah, yeah. We'll deal with that in a moment. I think just requesting support from this guy might be okay. We'll owe him a favor, but do we have anything over here? Yeah, he might... He might revoke titles. He might force us to switch that over to council. We can't do that one. He can't do that one, I don't think. Yeah, the council is not allowed to initiate voting for that. Councillor is allowed to initiate voting for that. So he may do that. That's not the end of the world, though. Is there someone here who likes us a little bit better, though? Hmm... This guy likes us a lot. He is a glory hound, though, and he does hold land. Whereas this guy is just a bishop. Let's go ahead and get this guy here. And we can... Actually, we already got this guy, so we get this guy. We just request support from him. He might use the favor in an awkward way. I really prefer that we didn't do that, but we need to get this past ASAP. Okay, he will support us. So we'll go ahead, go ahead and call in council support on these guys. 
There we go. And that should allow us to pass late feudal administration. It's three to three. So we will break the tie. And they have approved it. There we go. So the next thing that we need to do to pass ultimogeniture is have no count or higher tier vassal of this title have a negative opinion of us. Okay. So let's take a look at our vassals. Who hates us? These guys do. This guy does. These guys do. Nobody really, really hates us, though. Most of it is going to be the minus 20 from Domain Too Big. Also, there's some wrong, wrong government type stuff happening. That's exciting. So let's go ahead and give away some of our Welsh holdings. Is there anyone at court that we can easily give this to? Here's a Snedgus. We could give it to a Snedgus. We'll grant him the county of... How about Gwent? Including the lower titles. There we go. So we are now 9 out of 8. And let's find one more guy. Hmm. Who's nice and non-threatening? There is Harley the youngest, the second. He could be non-threatening, right? We could give him Glamorgan. There we go. We're now at 8 out of 8. Our vassals now hate us a lot less. This guy would be positive if we weren't boring. He also wants a seat on the council. Do we have a seat that we want to give him? He's good at martial. He's skill 16 martial. This guy's only skill 11. Let's go ahead and appoint this guy. Actually, this guy. Harley, Earl of Perfidwad. There we go. And let's see here. Who else is angry? The High Chief of Manon, minus 12. We might be able to bribe him. I don't think a mayor actually matters, but this guy's a High Chief, so he actually does. We could also just give him an honorary title. He could be... He could be our Master of the Hunt. He's still at minus 7, actually, so that did not do anything useful. We can send him a gift. 15 gold. We have 15 gold. Just over 15.8. And that'll get him positive. And now we can go to Ultimogeniture. There we go. And Harley the 17th is our heir. Look at that. Absolutely excellent. We need to get him married. We need to get him married to... She's a pretty good option. She is a homosexual, so there is that. But it should be fine. He is a genius. Do we have anyone else who's a genius? That's a nice genetic trait to have. Let's see here. We should be able to search by traits. Genius. There are no geniuses. Okay. We'll sort by title then. Or rather by rank. Now she's the Countess of Suffolk. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Let's take a look, actually. Where is the fine title? Suffolk. Right there in East Anglia. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Agnatic Cognatic Gavel Kind. That's intriguing. She is 33, which is a little bit unfortunate. She's a little on the old side. She's a countess as well in her own right. She's 17. She's Italian. Ah. On Sardinia. Interesting. Let's do it. She's on seduction focus. That's exciting. She wants to acquire a title. However, let's go ahead and marry her to Harley the 17th. She has decent stats. And she comes with a title. 
she will marry here. She would prefer a matrilineal. However, her opinion of us and prestige effects are enough to make her accept this. So eventually, we're going to have an awkward little province here in Sardinia. That's going to be fun. She should accept that. Harley the 17th is our heir. Absolutely excellent. According to our chancellor, this guy right here, the peasants of Turnalwig have started a delightful tradition where the peasantry from several villages meet up and dance, feast, and pair up for future marriage. By promoting this tradition, he believes that the county will develop a strong local culture that will attract more peasants. A peculiar tradition, we would lose 12 gold, gain 25 prestige. At this point, prestige is a lot less important to us than gold since we adopted feudalism. Or, I will not waste my money on such nonsense. Local tax modifier of 15% for Turnalwig. I don't think we're actually getting much from Turnalwig. Yeah, not particularly. Let's not waste our money on that. And Harley the 17th got married to the Italian woman. Excellent. That should keep them busy for a while. Middle Francia is actually not broken yet, although it is losing little chunks of Brittany. That's very interesting. We could potentially make use of that. Oh, that's Lince Winda died. She was the husband to our father, which was of course our first character. And this up here appears to be going relatively well. Let's see here. The Ulsterian claim on Rins, 69% in favor of, uh, of us over here. Our vassals are pressing that claim. Very nice of them. And we are making a lot of money. 11.76 gold a month. A son was born to Snedga and Chief Manchin the Lecher, named Leidson. Okay. That's fine. Hope they have fun with that. The next thing we really need to be doing is creating some of these titles and having some dukes under us. We do already have a couple. But getting some of these vassals out of there would be nice. We are currently only at a, a vassal count of four, apparently. It must only be counting dukes. So we've got this guy, who's a high chief. We've got this here. Who else do we have under us? High chief, high chief, and then a bunch of earls. Yeah, okay. Our truce with Wessex is expiring. There are those in your realm who worship other gods. For example, it is known to you that this nonsense openly follows the Jewish faith. You sometimes wonder what God would think of your association with these people. We're more alike than we are different. Sympathy, sympathy for Judaism. Probably not going to do that. The, their heathen delusions do not interest me. 50 piety. We'll probably do that. What can we do as far as the Jews go anyway? Can we welcome them back in? No, because this character was the one who kicked them out. Okay, he usurped this title. That is excellent. I need help with a delicate private matter I don't want the Chancellor to take care of. There are those who think me undiplomatic, and I fear they are right, and now I really need to be diplomatic, or the woman blackmailing me might spread her lies with me being unable to do anything about it. So we can ask her if she'll help us. She is fairly diplomatic. We may owe her a favor, but that shouldn't matter. 15% that we gain the trait stressed. Let's ask her for help. So this is held by the High Chief of Uled. We don't want that to be the case long term. We have a claim on this, so our vassals wouldn't object. He'll be the only one who would be angry, but he has a hundred opinion of us. So this would actually be a good time. He may rebel. That would be funny. We'll see what he says. 
I explained the situation for Menia carefully, not wanting her to know too much about the situation, but the fear of the lunatic woman spreading malicious rumors made me quite talkative, and I may have told Menia too much. It was for the best, though. Menia agreed to help me, but wanted to be reimbursed in case something would happen. So, we can make her disappointed, she tried to charge us for her help. Or we can pay her 33.7 wealth, that's a lot of money. But this solves the problem. Let's just make it go away. Okay, he accepted our decision to revoke this. Excellent. We can upgrade this to a castle at some point. It would need to have a stone hill fort in it. It doesn't have the tech for that. We should just give this away to a, to a vassal. Let's see, who do we want to give this to? This guy seems okay. Let's give this to Harley. This this county here, including lower titles. There we go. So this is no longer in the hands of this jerk. While attending prayer one early morning, I noticed my brother Kai drowsing off in his sleep. Yeah, yeah, we should wake him. Think nothing of it, friend. Do we care about this guy? He's the spy master of Leon. Nah, we don't care about it. We would like to crack into there eventually, but that won't really give us an opportunity. So what claims do we actually have? We have no claims currently on anything that we don't hold. We've pressed them all. This revolt is going interestingly for Mercia. War score 32% in favor of the revolter. What are they actually attempting to do? Earl Offa's claim on Mercia. Okay. They're just trying to change the leadership over there. Kingdom of Wales is almost certainly going to be the next title that we create. 258.4 wealth. We have the piety for it. We just need the wealth. Hello. What is this? Prince Harley of Air has declared a claim on... Ch on Chester. Okay. So our vassals are continuing to grow our territory over here. This is fine. Our loyal vassal, this guy, has sent us a courier with an offer. He's willing to make a significant donation, but he wants a favor. He's our court physician. What is his... On the council, he is chief of Osrage. That is... Um, what guy is that? This guy. He does currently return owe us a favor, and he's returning it. Um, he he is a pragmatist, so there is that. Two hundred gold. He's just trying to gain leverage. Let's we we already owe a favor to this guy. Let's let's not have another council member that we owe a favor to. According to our marshal, Harley MacHarley. The peasants of Dyfed are having frequent troubles with highwaymen and wild beasts. He suggests constructing a series of outposts along the roads of Dyfed. The peasantry would feel much safer, and it might even lead to more peasants moving to the county. A safe peasant is a productive peasant. Minus 5% revolt risk. I don't think they have any revolt risk. They do not. The prosperity increases, though. That would be nice. They're currently prosperity level 0. There is no prosperity there. Let's go ahead and do it. It'll lose us a little bit of money in the short term, but in the long term it should pay off. I do like long term investments. Carrick is currently held by Northumbria. Okay. According to this guy, the peasants of Urmham Hain have started a delightful tradition there, too. We'll go ahead and not waste our money on that. But the Esmum Hain is prospering, so that's good. My knowledge of swords only extends so far as to long, sharp things you, point, you poke people with when you want them to die, especially if you are in a duel or at war, and it's becoming an embarrassment. If someone could ever teach me anything about swords and how to use them, it would be one of my best friends, and I can trust him to never mock my lack of skill. I could ask the High Chief of Ulaid for help. He's still really, really happy with us. Even though we revoked his title, he doesn't seem to care too much about that. 
so we can ask him for help, or I can probably figure this out by myself. Ow. Let's ask him for help. We'll see what happens. Maybe he'll stab us and Harley will inherit. Who knows? However, I do think that this is a good time to put a cut in here. So next episode, we will probably be maybe looking to go to war with Northumbria. But we will certainly be strengthening our position here. And until then, I will see you all later.